okay so today we gonna see how we can uh, play borderland 3 in split screen mode using nucleus co-op and that to the epic version steam version works normally but for epic uh, we have to make some changes so basically what you need to do is download nucleus co-op first go to downloads click on this link once it's downloaded make sure to make a folder named nucleus app and what you need to do is exclude it in your windows defender otherwise it will detect it as virus so yeah after excluding it you can just extract uh, the zip file into this and uh, we'll have this after that first of all we need to uh, launch borderlands 3 from epic so first of all we need to open epic launch borderland 3 let's wait for it it's actually required for it to work So once we are here Once we are here we can just exit the game So this was the first step After that you can just minimize it uh, What we need to do is uh, focus on this folder handlers these two files borderlands the 3.js and borderland 3 preflight.ps1 so what you need to do is uh, basically get these two files and uh, you can get it from um, okay so basically this is the link i will give in the description what you need to do is uh, get these two files these two files uh, since there is no download option on it there is no download option on it you can do what you can do is uh, just copy the entire code open notepad paste in it file save as go to all files and just put the exact name this borderlands 3.js just put this uh, name in in here and click on save so it will generate this file you can do the same thing for uh, this file so once you have these two files you what you can need to do is place them here in nucleus co-op handlers so basically right here so first step was to run epic and uh, run the game and then exit it after that what you need to do is uh, open nucleus mm. yeah so here you can see it says uh, only works with epic games before this it was saying that uh, it only works with steam version so what you need to do for uh, for it to work like this is uh, basically open it and then go to download game handler type borderland 3 here 
and once you have borderland 3 here click on download once that is complete you need to select the exe file uh, of your borderlands 3 of epic version for that uh, since this is the one this is not the exe we want uh, we want engine binaries no uh, wait oh games binaries and 64 this one you need to select this file and open it so after that uh, it will get registered and you will see this window and after that you can close this window and uh, once that is done what you need to do you need to go back into your uh, nucleus co-op and go to handler right click on this file run with powershell so first time when you run it it will warn you about some changing policies and all just press y and press enter so once that is completed uh, this uh, execution will be done and when next time you run it it will just mm, get a blue screen like this so once that is done uh, after that you need to exit nucleus and when you uh, open it again from here you will be able to see this one so once you see uh, this one written it means that uh, the the uh, profile is ready and now you need to connect two controllers so i'm disconnecting my mouse and connecting my controller here okay so what you need to do now is uh, since I have double uh, setup monitor, I will I play like that. But for now, we just keep it to this one only. Drag first player here, second player here. Once that is done, all you need to do is this and hit play. It will give this error, but uh, uh, it's fine. So let's let it launch and then I will tell you what are the limitations we face while using this method. So click OK for both of them. So this one is launched. So one controller will work on this one. Hello, okay, so here we are. And one controller is working with one, another with another. Sorry for the background disturbances and uh, now we need to do is uh, go to settings here place it on LAN and make sure that uh, you choose one type of grouping mode for both the players once that is done make sure this is also the same now what you can do is start uh, since you can see uh, that both the players are having same character but what actually happens is uh, let me show you let me just start a game so if we start the game from here since uh, uh, both the instances are running from the same id uh, it creates two uh, instances of different characters but shows only the first one so let me show you what we can do now when you go on social you can see the game is up join the game and then let 
let it join let it join it should work yeah worked so if you don't launch the epic uh, store and the game first it won't work it will show error here so here uh, you can select the character since both characters are saved from the same id so you can just load the second one okay so now we are in the game now you can see that both characters are here and working perfectly so uh, what the limitation is that i have noticed is uh, basically hmm see once mm, so first of all the good thing is your inventory is kept uh, is not synced basically i have this item this round big uh, whatever it is so this one is different for this player and uh, inventory of this player is different so basically you can just play the game uh, and one of the limitations that i came across was you cannot uh, second player cannot uh, use the bank the bank vaults which are uh, in the game are not accessible to the second player basically it uh, saves for the first player only so that is one limitation but apart from that i think uh, one can play the game very smoothly since inventories and skills are not synced so that's good mm, and uh, apart from that uh, yeah it's working fine yeah one more thing is uh, see this if i run along and uh, i pause the game so see game is the second player is also not working see the bottom one the second player is also not working it's stuck so the player that started the game if he or she pauses uh, the game or opens up the inventory then it the screen of second player will be stuck but also the enemies will also get stuck so it won't be a problem in game but whereas if you open uh, inventory or menu for second player you can see the first player is able to move so that is a limitation i came across so yeah that's it it's working good now if you have any problems any doubts want something me to try you can put it on comments and if you have any other query related to any other game you want me to research then also put it in the comments thank you